Uh, uh, throwing up 12 and a half bitcoins every 10 minutes really wears down on my throat. Are you still in quarantine? Uh, I'm a decentralized public ledger, Giovanni, so it's hard to keep a coin like me in lockdown. If anyone from the federal government is watching, I I'm still waiting on my stimulus check. Hi everyone, I'm Giovanni. I am excited to announce that today I'm going to interview Bitcoin from the popular YouTube series Bitcoin and Friends. How are you doing, Bitcoin? I'm doing very well, Giovanni. Thank you. I saw you weren't doing too well lately. Did you catch COVID-19? I'm feeling a little under the weather. <coughs> well, as you may or may not have known, I went to Wuhan recently on a, on a small vacation. And uh, although I wasn't tested, I did have a lot of the symptoms, but I, I quickly recovered. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for asking. So are you still, are you still in quarantine? Well, as you know, uh, I'm a decentralized public ledger, Giovanni, so it's hard to keep a coin like me in lockdown. Uh, however, I, I am being considerate of the elderly and medically complicated, as they say. So I'm staying in, I'm doing some yoga, taking it easy, uh, throwing up blocks every 10 minutes, and uh, preparing for the big event on May 11th. So as you mentioned, we are very close to one of the most important events in your life, the halving. How are you going to celebrate? Uh, well, Giovanni, all I can say is I can't wait to throw up less Bitcoin. Uh, uh, throwing up 12 and a half Bitcoins every 10 minutes really wears down on my throat. Uh, not to mention 25 Bitcoins. And as we all know, when I first started, it was 50. Um, but honestly, I, I don't even want to think about those days. They, they were dark. Yeah, I can imagine it, it must be a very big strain for you to throw up so many little bitcoins all the time so, it was giovanni uh, <laughs> it was so do you think your life will change after the halving hmm. well I, I do find it incredibly amusing and fitting uh that as the inflation of uh, the bitcoin currency is winding down it appears the uh, federal reserve here in the united states is just winding up uh printing trillions upon trillions so I think my having and coinciding with the recent world events is about as poetic as one could ask. And I hope it sends a powerful message to the world. Um, also, if anyone from the federal government is watching, I'm still waiting on my stimulus check so I can convert that to uh, that paper into Satoshis. So if you could look into that, I would appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I hope you get it soon. Many of your fans were counting on you as a safe haven, but during the latest market crash, you kind of let them down, crashing with the rest of the market. How are you planning to rehabilitate yourself? Well, I have to say, Giovanni, I was disappointed at first, but I don't think we should let a short blip like this get, get the community down. I think this is simply a war of attrition. Uh, with the centralized currencies slowly digging their own graves. Um, so th there's going to be bumps in the road, uh, but I think all we have to do is zoom out, as they say, and we'll, we'll see that we're holding strong. Okay, so if you had to send a message to your fans regarding this, what would that be? Uh, zoom out. We're, we're, we're doing fine, everyone. Just, just hold on to your hat. You're quite a grown-up man already. Are you still searching for your father? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I'm only 11 years old, Giovanni. I still think of myself as a kid, uh, and the producers of the show won't let me talk about the show too much as I have an NDA. But let's just say the absence of my father leads my character to some valuable lessons. Talking about uh, your affections, so for those who watch the series, you seem to have started getting along with a girl. Her name is Ethereum. I didn't get anyone to fall in love with me. I mean, I'm Ethereum, bitch. How are things going between you guys? Well, as I keep teasing, there will be a hot and steamy atomic swap sequence in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And uh, also, the producers want to stress for any of the female viewers out there that Ethereum is much more than just a simple love interest. In fact, both Ethereum and Litecoin play key... Ki in fact, both Ethereum and Litecoin play key pivotal roles in the development of the ecosystem in Season 2. So, for those who don't know, uh, there is uh, another episode of your series coming up soon. 
Uh, do we already have a, a release date? Uh, yes, that, that would be May 10th. We're uh, coinciding that with, uh, with the happening. Oh, nice, nice. Looking forward to that. The next question is actually about uh, Litecoin. So in the last episode, we saw the appearance of Litecoin for the first time. Can you tell us your name? Oh my gosh. Can you give us some little hints on what kind of role is he going to play in the series? Well, as you'll see, Giovanni, Litecoin does get himself into a bit of a pickle in episode 5, uh, which premieres, like I said, May 10th. Uh, but as a slight spoiler, he does make it out okay, I promise. And in terms of what type of role Litecoin plays um, in the show, I'm not sure, sure if you've have you ever seen the film The Godfather, Giovanni? Sure. Of course. Uh, but I guess I guess if I had to compare him to someone, it would have to be Fredo uh, from, from The Godfather. He's a simple coin uh, with a simple mind. Uh, he has good intentions, and we certainly love him very much. Another character in, the, in your show, which reminds me of a, per, a character of, from The Godfather, the, I think he's like a villain. Uh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Cornhole, but I need a warrant. Timothy? I'm going to make you an offer you can't refuse. Yes, he was heavily inspired by Don Corleone, yes. Um, the Godfather's been a big influence on us uh, making the show. We, we like uh, film references. So now, Bitcoin, the last question would be, how do you see yourself in one year from now? It's a good question, Giovanni. Well, I won't make any price predictions, Giovanni, but what I will make you is this guarantee. I will be producing trustless, secure, immutable peer-to-peer -peer transactions. I, I've been doing that for over 10 years now, and, and I take, take great pride in, in what I do. And, and I think the true value of Bitcoin isn't the price of its currency, um, but the freedom that my blockchain brings. Thank you, Bitcoin. That was a cool conversation. Uh, thanks for having me, Giovanni. Uh, you are both a gentleman and a scholar. And uh, for, for those watching, uh, be sure to tune in uh, to episode 5 on May 10th on uh, CrapTube. I, I mean YouTube and uh, library.tv. That's lbry.tv. Thanks, Giovanni. That was Bitcoin from Bitcoin and Friends. Thanks for talking to us and have a great halving. And you guys, if you like the interview, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.